Well, I'm about to attach the antenna uh, to the uh, the socket and to the chipboard here, and you have to be really careful because you only have really one chance or a couple of chances at this. Uh, it comes with a small protective uh, piece of wire on it there, antenna wire, which I assume is probably looks like about the length of a clover leaf segment but I don't think that you're supposed to use that as an antenna because it will overheat and burn out. So we're going to attach this and the way we're going to do it, because you have to be careful with that fine wire there, keep it separated, we are going to first set this up if we can. We're going to attach this by soldering first the tip to the wire and then the sides here to the ground pins. So I'm going to tin this up and get working on it and then these three pins here are channel select so you put a jumper on it and you can change the channel of the transmitter. Uh, eight channels. And then on this side we have the power in and we have the video signal, audio signal, and ground out, which will take a servo wire. So, there you go, I'm not sure if you can read that. But I'm going to get to work on this, because this will be a backup uh, transmitter. And made, this will be my third micro transmitter, and I still have that 12 volt over there. But I wanted to try a fresh one, and see if I can uh, get a better signal range or a clearer picture or see what the difference is and uh, see if the cleanliness of assembly uh, plays a big part and the gap between this small wire here which is the antenna signal and uh, the wire that I'm joining plays a huge part in that so we'll try this first and then we'll see how the reception is and there we have it soldered now I wanted to show you the uh, technique I used I'm not sure, there you go. Uh, the shielding I've moved to the sides, the ground on each side, and then the center piece I just left a very tiny, tiny, small piece here and joined that together. And then we're going to glue stick this uh, one end, and so this is firmly in place. Now the ground wires are what is holding this together, so that if I pull on it, it's bearing the weight on these two wires here so that the center crucial point is supported by those two outer wires there and that'll keep that safe from being damaged while it's in the glue stick so I'm going to trim this down a little bit try to not expose as much there and then we're going to try it out and now we're done I put an arrow shaft, a carbon arrow shaft around the uh, outside here to add strength and to shield that small little piece of, uh, of the antenna lead so that it wouldn't be uh, transmitting from that point so it is encased in this now and the uh, carbon fiber is not touching any of my contacts and uh, there you go so that's quite strong now I can strap it onto something with this that has to be cooling so we'll get a piece of aluminum on there and add it as a cooling fin and there you go ready for an antenna ready for uh, power in on the first two pins uh, then ground audio and video and then channel select over here so with a light uh, VTX like this you could probably uh, have two VTX like this on your craft and uh, I'm just eating dinner here <laughs> and then you could switch between two receivers on different channels if you were running into trouble so you could actually test two different channels on the quadcopter and there's the other one there it has a longer lead so I wanted to make this shorter to see if I got more power and I lost uh, if I had lost any transmitting power through having a long uh, antenna wire on that one so this one is quite short and uh, if I provide cooling for this then I can add it and then bend this up because it is firmly glue sticked onto this carbon tube here so all my bending stress will be outside of the area where my soldering has been done 
So there you go. That's the uh, $28 VTX, 200 milliwatt, versus that clunky thing there. And eventually we'll do a test to see which is better transmission in a big open field when I can get my transportation going, or get a lift to a big field or countryside. So there you go, that's today's work, and uh, also welded up a bunch of stuff, but that's the hoverbot work for today, and we're ready to test this VTX.